today, we have an iPhone 11 sent by a customer because it turns off every three minutes. The customer mentioned that they've taken it to multiple places where it was disassembled, reassembled, and had parts replaced, but the issue persists. When we inspected the motherboard under the microscope, we noticed that some circuits were missing, and it had been worked on extensively. In cases like this, we can't be sure if we're fixing the original problem or issues caused by previous technicians. To save time, we're going to perform a motherboard swap. This involves transferring essential components from the customer's original motherboard to a new, fully functional one. These components include, first, CPU, central processing unit, the brain of the device, managing all processing tasks and system operations. Second, NAND memory, the storage component that holds all the phone's data, ensuring that the customer's personal information is preserved. Third, EEPROM, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, a small memory chip that stores critical system information, such as calibration settings and configurations, necessary for the phone to function correctly. The first step is to separate the motherboard. We place the board on the preheater set to 180 degrees Celsius. Once it reaches the correct temperature, we carefully separate the two parts, the A board, the top part, and the B board, lower part. Next, we place the A board in a motherboard holder, apply heat, and use a scalpel and pry tool to carefully remove the epoxy around the edges of the CPU. If you're interested in learning advanced repair techniques like these, join us at CellPhoneRepairAcademy.com for professional training and start mastering the skills to repair devices like a pro. Then, with a soldering iron, we remove the components from the right side of the CPU, preparing the area for the CPU extraction. Next, we prepare to remove the CPU by applying heat at 360 degrees Celsius in a circular motion. Once the CPU reaches the correct temperature, we slowly insert the tip of a spatula under it until it loosens. We then lift it off and store it safely in a container. Now, we move on to the NAND, which stores all the phone's data. We remove the sticker, apply heat, and lift it off. Lastly, we remove the metal shield covering the EEPROM memory, but since it's so small, we will leave it for the final step. Next, we clean the epoxy off the CPU. We secure the CPU in a holder, apply heat, and use a brush to clean it while alternating heat from the air gun. After that, we clean the CPU with alcohol. Now we apply flux, and using a micro pencil and solder wick, we carefully remove any remaining solder from the traces. We clean one last time with alcohol. Then, we align a stencil over the CPU and fill the holes with solder paste. While applying heat, we hold the stencil with tweezers until the solder balls form. We then inspect the solder balls to ensure none are missing and that there are no bridges between them. For the NAND, we first add low temperature solder and flux, then clean the traces with solder wick to remove any excess solder. Next, we carefully align the stencil, fill the holes with solder paste, and apply heat until the solder balls form. Afterward, we inspect the NANDI to ensure all the solder balls are properly formed. Now we take a motherboard from an iPhone 11 that we previously prepared for this repair by removing the CPU, NAND, and EEPROM memory, and cleaning the traces. We align the NAND and then apply heat at 360 degrees Celsius to install it. We then install the CPU using the same process, aligning it carefully and applying heat at 360 degrees Celsius to secure it in place. We then return to our customer's motherboard and remove the final piece, the EEPROM memory. After reballing it, we install it on the new board.
Once everything is in place, we put the motherboard in an ultrasonic cleaner for a final cleaning. After reballing and soldering both layers of the board together using a preheater, we turn on the device, set a timer, and as you can see, the phone no longer shuts down. This repair is now complete. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.